22,000 pounds. It's very, very, very good. Yeah. It's very, very nice. But we don't want to give you that. We will give you that quite happily, Pete. But you are five questions away from one million pounds. The next one is worth 64,000. You might as well play that whatever. You can't lose. You'd still go away with 32,000 pounds. Have a look at it. It's question number 11. Which of these actresses has not appeared in Coronation Street? Not appeared in Coronation Street. Patricia Routledge, Maureen Lipman, Prunella Scales, Joanna Lumley. You've got two lifelines. Yeah, that's Maureen Lipman. I, th I can remember the others being in it. Joanna Lumley was a boyfriend of somebody or others. Prunella Scales was in it and Patricia Routledge, so it's Maureen Lipman. You sure? Yeah, about 2%. No, but, but I'm fine. 2% sure. 5% sure. Final answer, yeah? Yeah, final answer. You're very good on your soaps. You've just won 64. <laughs> Joe Lumley, I think she was... Um, Ken Barlow's, Ken Barlow's boyfriend. girlfriend or girlfriend yeah. not boyfriend no. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's, now that was a very different play um, <laughs> the other scales was a bus conductress I yeah. think I think the other one ran uh, ran a cafe or something but you're right so, anyway, yeah, more mm. Peter have a look at that feast your eyes on that sunbeam 64,000 wait <laughs> it won't go away 64,000 pounds at the moment yeah. you've still got two lifelines you've still got 50-50 and you've still got phone a friend. Have a look at question number 12 of 15. Which John Osborne play features the character Archie Rice? You know this, don't you? <laughs> yep. <laughs> what do you think? The Entertainer. Wait and see. Wait and see what comes up. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> the Entertainer, West of Suez, Look Back in Anger, Time present. I'll go for the first one. The entertainer. Final answer, you're absolutely sure? Yep. It's good here, isn't it? You just won 125. <laughs> oh, yes! I don't know what, uh, what your wife Sue's doing at home, but I sh think she's in the most dreadful state, <laughs> looking after the pets. Um, Peter, at this moment, have a look at that. I can give you a cheque for one... Oh, wait. <laughs> oh. I've never seen one that big before. £125,000. Oh, brilliant. Have a look at the next question. You don't have to play it, but it's worth a quarter of a million. Which French Impressionist painter which French Impressionist painter had a son who became a successful film director? Pissarro, Degas, Sisley, Renoir. I've got an idea what it might be, but I think this is where one of my lives comes in, I think. What, um, what do you think? Which one? I think it's probably Renoir, but that's a guess. It's worth a quarter of a million if you can get to the right yeah. answer. I think I'll go for a 50 50, I think, at this stage. I think. Okay, all right. Uh, computer, take away two wrong answers, please. Leave Peter just the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Yeah. Take your time. Uh, one of those is worth £250,000. Yeah. One of those, if you played it, would cost you £93,000. Uh huh. I think I might call on one of my uh, phone of friends, please. OK. And it'll be, um, I think, Derek. Derek? OK, who's he? Yeah. He's a film fan. His, his daughter's in the audience. <laughs> She's the one who's just gone, oh, <laughs> God, he's going to ring Daddy. <laughs> oh, it's be worse for her, you or Daddy, actually. <laughs> 30 seconds, two possible answers. One of them's worth a quarter of a million. Tell him. Hello. Derek? Yes? Good evening. It's Chris Tarrant on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Hello. 
Hello, good heavens. Hello, good heavens. Um, <laughs> I've got Peter here, Peter Lee. Yeah. At the moment, Peter is on one hundred and twenty-five thousand pounds. One hundred and twenty-five thousand. Wow. Well, with your help, we can hopefully get him up to two hundred and fifty thousand pounds. Hmm. Good heavens. Okay. Uh, the next voice you hear will be Peter's. There are only two answers left. One is the right answer, one's wrong. OK, Derek? OK. OK, Peter, your time starts now. Yeah, Del Boy. Hello, Peter Kim. <laughs> Which French Impressionist painter had a son who became a successful film director? Which French Impressionist painter had, had a son? son who became a successful film director? Was it Pissarro or Renoir? Pissarro or Renoir? <clears throat> well, I know there is a film director called Renoir, but I don't know of one called Pissarro. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, you've just confirmed what I was but, uh, hoping. Um, if that's what you believe, uh, there is a, a Renoir film director, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Peter, I know it's a serious moment, but Del Boy and Peter Kid. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, take your time. It's entirely up to you. You can take this money. You do not have to play this question. If you're wrong, it has cost you £93,000. No, I'm going for it. I'll go for Renoir. That sounded familiar to me, and if Del Boy knows his films, so... Or Derek, sorry. <laughs> Final answer. Final answer. Renoir. Renoir. We'll take a break. Join us again in a couple oh. of minutes. Just before we went to the break, Peter Lee was on 125,000. Mm. He decided to play question number 13 of 15. He used up his lifelines. The question was, which French Impressionist painter had a son who became a successful film director? The only two left were Pissarro or Renoir. Peter went for Renoir. If he's wrong, it's cost him £93,000. It hasn't. He's just won a quarter of a million. <laughs> oh, oh Pete. Really? Oh. so calm as well. <laughs> Have a look then, Peter. £250,000. Look at that. A quarter of a million. Hold it. You do it back. You do it back. <laughs> you can take that and walk away. You've got no more lifelines, but you are just two questions away from £1 million. The next question is worth £500,000. If you give me a wrong answer, if you decide to play it and give me a wrong answer, you still get £32,000, but you lose £218,000. Take as long as you need. It's question number 14 <coughs> of 15. Here it comes. All right. What does the Japanese word kamikaze literally mean? Sacred venture. Divine wind. Self-destruction. Final attack. Yep. It's divine wind. Why are you so sure? Okay. Japan's one of my favourite countries. So I've been there a few times and I've just picked up a few phrases and just hope that that's it anyways. It's up to you. If you're wrong, you lose 218,000. You can walk away with a quarter of a million. No, as the old saying goes, I came with nothing. I'll, if I go with 32, then... <laughs> I'll say, but it doesn't apply for a quarter of a million quid. <laughs> Final answer. Final answer. Mm. Yep. Final answer. You just won five. <laughs> Thank you.
this country on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? At this moment, Peter Lee has £500,000. <laughs> I'm not going for the next Have one. a look at this. <laughs> Half a million. Yeah, I wonder what I've done now. <laughs> but we don't want to give you that. <laughs> Have a look at this. I never thought I'd say this. Question number 15 of 15. If you give me the right answer, it is worth one million pounds. You don't have to play it. If you're wrong, you lose... Four hundred and sixty eight thousand <laughs> pounds. Which county cricket side is based at Chester Le Street, Warwickshire, Durham, North Hants, Leicestershire? With the other ones, I was about ninety percent, ninety five percent sure of this, so I'm not. So I think I'm going to take the. 500,000. <laughs> oh, well, I'll just take the 500,000, please. <laughs> Out of interest, which one, which one do you think it was? I would side with Leicestershire, but I'm, I'm not... It, it wouldn't be a... The other ones I've been sort of near 90%. I, I wouldn't know. I tell you what, give this guy a huge... <laughs> with a cheque for £500,000. I can tell you, if you had gone along with your gut instinct there and you'd said to me the word Leicestershire, he would have just lost 468 grand. The right answer is actually Durham. He goes away, the biggest winner ever, with half a million. Fantastic. I'm so proud of you. Time to meet ten brand new contestants for tonight. They are Mick Hammond from Leicestershire, Denise Fowler from Essex, Margaret Whitaker from Berkshire, Jan Garner from the West Midlands, Jeff Yarrington Bull from Worcestershire, Alex Bruce from Murrayshire, Dave Tim from North Yorkshire, Susan Greenfield from Edinburgh. Steve Sargent from Berkshire and Darren Wilson from Cleveland. OK, it's been a long wait for you lot, but uh, I'm sure you agree. It's absolutely compulsive stuff. Fastest finger first, then ten brand new contestants. I'm going to give the contestants a question of four possible answers. Whoever puts the four answers in the correct order in the fastest time will be the next tonight to play for one million pounds. No calling out, please, in the audience. I want them to concentrate. Right, fastest finger first. Here comes the question. Place these four words in alphabetical order. Achieve, acacia, actually, accent. It's one of those that looks very easy at home. Uh, let's see, then. Let's see how many got it right. Let's, um, let's first and foremost find out the right order, then. Alphabetical order. Uh, first and foremost, obviously, acacia. Then it's accent. Then achieve, and then in alphabetical order. The last one is actually. That's the right order. Let's see how many got it right. Then let's find out, more importantly, who was fastest. Please got it right. Who was fastest? Margaret Whitaker in 8.207. Margaret, you're a woman. <laughs> well done. How do you make up? It's all right. You ready for this? <laughs> yes. By the time we gave a woman a million pounds. Yes, please. Yes, please. Let's do it. Come on. Question number one for £100. Who are Casper, Melchior and Balthazar? Three wise men, three blind mice, three wise monkeys, Beverly sisters. It's one of those for £100. Three wise men. Three wise men is the right answer. You've got 100 quid. <laughs> Question number two. Suspension, cantilever and humpback are all types of what? Why are you looking at me like that? Whale. I know the answer. Ship. 
Mountain or bridge? Bridge. Final answer? Final answer. That's good. It's the right answer. You've got £200. Pounds. <laughs> got £300.